Greetings, this is Mr. Lewitt, your Algebra 2 instructor. I hope that you enjoy the following presentation on geometric sequences and series. <clears throat> geometric sequences and series. Why are they important? Why should we study them? Why should you know about them? Geometric sequences and series are used to model problems that involve compound interest. Geometric sequences and series behave similarly to exponential functions, except that geometric sequences and series require arguments that are integers. Okay, what is an argument? I'm not talking about a conflict or a disagreement between two people. <clears throat> In the context of mathematics, the word argument has a very specific meaning. An argument is another name for an input. For example, in the function f of x, x can be called your input, or x can be called the independent variable, or x can also be called the argument. It's just another word for input or independent variable, but you should know what the word argument means in mathematics. A geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers where each term is a multiple of the previous term. The most commonly encountered geometric sequences in financial mathematics begin with the number 1. Let's look at an example, shall we? Here's a good example of a geometric sequence whose definition is given by f of n is equal to 2 to the power n beginning with n is equal to 0. 2 to the power 0 is 1, 2 to the power 1 is 2, and then you have 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, etc, etc. I hope you get the idea. This sequence can be as short or as long as you want it to be. Any geometric sequence is theoretically or potentially infinite, but you can terminate it at any point where you want to. What about the problem of investing $100 a month with 4.8% interest compounded monthly. How can we turn that into a geometric sequence? We start by changing 4.8% into a decimal, 0 0.048. Divide that by 12 because you have 12 months in a year, add 1, to get the monthly interest rates, which is 1.004. Got the idea? You invest $100 every month. The bank pays you interest for that month, which is represented by multiplying by the number 1.004 and the process repeats monthly until you have a lot of money. You have 100 times 1.004 plus 100 times 1.004 plus another 100 times 1.004 plus another 100, etc., etc. <clears throat> Well, that's going to look pretty complicated if you invest $100 a month for a long time. So that turns into something a little easier to work with. 100 times 1.004 to the power 3, plus 100 times 1.004 to the power 2, plus 100 times 1.004 to the power 1, plus 100 times 1.004 to the power 0. You factor out the 100 and you have a geometric sequence. And don't forget 1.004 to the power 0 is really the same thing as 1. 
how do we add the terms of a geometric sequence? For that, we should use Wolfram Mathematica. Yes, you're all familiar with Wolfram Mathematica. It is one of my favorite math software packages. Okay, so let's uh, go to Mathematica and see what that looks like. Well, the first thing I should do is make this a little bigger so you can see it better. Okay. Uh, there you go. Now, I'm going to use two commands in Mathematica. I'm going to use the table command, and I'm also going to use the sum command. So we're going to learn about two, mathematic, two Mathematica commands today. Table 2 to the power n, where n goes from 0 to 10. And you're going to type this exactly as I'm typing it. You've got to follow the rules of the Mathematica language. Don't make up your own rules, guys, because then the computer will not do what you expect of it. At the end of every Mathematica command, you're going to hold down the shift and enter keys. Press shift, hold it down, and then press enter. Shift, enter. There you go. 2 to the power 0 is 1. 2 to the power 1 is 2. 2 uh, to the power 2 is 4. 2 to the power 3 is 8. You get the idea. You have a sequence of numbers. Let's say I want to add up those numbers. Well, that should be easy. I could do it the long way, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128 plus 256 plus 512 plus 1024. Oh my god, that's a lot of work. A lot of typing. Shift, enter. 2047. There's got to be an easier way to do this. What do you think? Sum... 2 to the power n, n goes from 0 to 10. Shift enter. Two, 2047. You see, I told you there was an easier way to do the problem. Now, let's get back to that compound interest problem that we were talking about. I've got 100 times 1.004 to the power 3 plus 100 times 1.004 to the power 2, plus 100 times 1.004 to the power 1, plus 100 times 1.004 to the power 0. Oh, wow. A lot of talking and a lot of typing. This is exhausting, isn't it? Shift, enter. Okay, so the answer rounded out to the nearest penny is going to be $402.41. There must be an easier way to do this. Okay, let's give this a shot. 100 times sum, 1.004 to the power of n. n is my argument. n is going to go from 0 to 3. What is that going to look like? Well, what do you know? It's the same answer. We have, after three months, $402.41. Now, what's, what's wrong with doing it the long way? Well, you know, guys, what if I plan to invest $100 a month for, how about, 48 months, which is four years? So I'm going to have to type 100 times 1.004 to the power 48 plus 100 times 1.004 to the power 47 plus, okay, forget it. I'm not going to do that. I mean, I have to do that all the way down to zero. 1.004 to the power 46 and then 45 and then 44 all the way to zero. No way. No way, we're not going to do that because it's a waste of time, it's way too much work. 
Okay, so instead, let's use the technology that's available to us. Why not take advantage of the technology? It makes our lives so much easier, right? So we've got 100 times the sum of 1.004 to the power n, and n is going to cover all the integers from 0 to 48. Wow, $5,401.28. Now, how much interest is that? How much interest did we make? Let's see. If you're investing $100 a month for 48 months and there's no interest, that's $4,800, right? So $5,401.28 minus $4,800, what do you think that's going to be? Shift, enter. Remember, guys, shift, enter at the end of every Mathematica command. Shift, enter. Well, in four years, you have made $601.28 in interest. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. I hope you learned a lot today. And please stay tuned for future videos and presentations. We're going to spend a lot of time learning about geometric sequences, geometric series, compound interest, annuities, and how to figure out car payments, mortgages, and other loan payments. This is an exciting unit. I hope that you love it as much as I do. Take it easy and have a great day.